guys. So we've got two different groups going out today. We've got our long run group is doing the upbeat long run out at Thunder, and then we've got the race group in the group doing the upbeat long run. Um, just remember this is the end of a rest week, and I know it's a high volume session for the end of a rest week, but if you think about it, you had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, you got about six days where there's one key session and this is it. So I want you to make it count, but at the same time, we gotta recover. We gotta be ready for the next charge. Um, I'm looking for about a 15, 16 on the RPE, and I want it to stay aerobic. Um, I really don't want to see anybody cutting it loose for the last two or the last mile or whatever. Like, I don't want to see a 440 or anything in there. Just kind of let the hills do the work for you. It's not a sexy session. It's just time spent running, okay? That's all we're looking for. That's what's going on. Ready to break. It's a rest week and so about every four weeks we'll come back and just trying to hit the reset button on our glycogen base is basically what we're doing so uh, depending on how far we're starting to tilt them forward to being ray sharp it's always good to kind of take a half step back and make sure that we're maintaining everything aerobic about what we're doing <coughs> about 5.28, 5.33, something like that. So usually when they hit the up sections, it'll slow and then they kind of get rolling on the downs and that's what they're instructed to do. So as we keep coming over hills, the pace should keep shifting down, you know, into the low 5.20s and then maybe faster the last couple, four or five miles. So. Post workout. Yeah. Post workout. Yeah. Cliff bars. No. Crunchy, <laughs> crunchy peanut butter. You know, oat mega. Some, some mixed nuts. Jeez. We're out on Thunder Road this morning. Uh, how important is Thunder Road to the program? Man, Thunder Road is like legendary to OU. It's like our mags if you want to compare it to something. Um, I don't know what it looked like on camera, but that thing rolls, and uh, you got to be in a constant, just grind to get up and down these hills, and. Um, it really shows us what they're made of, you know? Like these guys come out and they're running 520s. 
Doesn't look like it's that hard, but when you're breaking rhythm every, what would you say, Brock? Every 90 seconds, you're either climbing or, or descending, so um, really important for us. I think we overestimated going in, like looking at it on paper, because Coach gives us the workouts like a week beforehand. Mm -hmm. We were like, wow, like we've never really done anything like this, but we were getting like two thirds to the workout, and we we're like, wow, like we're actually doing this, like pretty comfortable. So we, we've just gone from one good coach to another here, and, and you know, it's like, you know, nothing ever changed, honestly. You gotta work to run five 20 mids out there. Mm -hmm. Like, it's no joke, man. So. Uh, for them to do easy 12 at that pace was pretty impressive. We don't wake up every morning to be second best. <laughs> 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 hey, man. Thank you,